Cultural Studies and Service in Ghana and elsewhere support the view that corruption is a major impediment to economic progress, social welfare, service delivery, and good governance in Ghana and the African continent as a whole. It is said that padding of salaries, or what is generally known as ghost names, on the public payroll alone costs Ghana 30 billion Ghana cities annually. Corruption facilitates generalized disrespect for the law, is responsible for the provision of poor quality services in education, in health, sanitation, and electricity, among others. Corruption undermines and weakens democratic institutions and good governance. It provides spurious reasons for abandoning development projects begun by previous administrations in the name of fighting it. It increases the cost of business and governance and weakens professionalism through production of the proverbial square pegs in round holes, among others. The Honorable Senior Minister, corruption affects all sectors of the economy without exception. Public, private, civil society, media, and faith-based organizations. It is said that corruption is a system, and we must fight it by improving systems and taking other measures. Therefore, not one single person, institution, or sector can fight it alone. Neither public education, nor law enforcement, nor prevention, standing alone, can effectively combat corruption. We must address corruption as a collective responsibility. Promoting transparency and accountability and preventing corruption are, res are responsibilities to be shared by all sectors of society. That is why it is critical to foster public-private partnership in the prevention of corruption by, among others, increasing dialogue and cooperation and generally addressing practices that generate vulnerability to corruption. 